What's up guys? In this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the missing angle of a triangle using properties of triangles. Now there's kind of three properties of triangles that we're going to focus on. We're not going to get very elaborate. I just really want to kind of cover the basics just to remind you of what are some properties of triangles you can use to help you find the missing angle of a triangle. Therefore, you can apply these ideas to more complex problems that you are working on. The first problem or property I think is probably the most advantageous for all students to remember is going to be the interior triangle angle sum theorem. And basically remember that that is basically saying that when you have angles in a triangle, and let's say, you know, whatever those angles be, let's call them A, B, and C. Now remember, all the angles in a triangle are going to add up to 180 degrees. So I can say A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. If I wanted to solve a problem, let's say I, you know, had a given triangle, and let's say I had two angles inside that triangle, well then using that information, I can now go ahead and find my missing angle. So for instance, let's say I had a theta, and then over here I had a 58 degrees, and then over here I had a 42 degrees. So now if I wanted to find the missing side of my triangle, basically all I need to do is like write an equation, right? I could say theta plus a 58 degrees plus a 42 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now to just go ahead and solve for theta, all I simply need to do is go ahead and add these two up. So 58 degrees plus 42 degrees is going to add up to 100. So I can say theta plus 100 equals 180 degrees. And then you can just go ahead and subtract 100 degrees on both sides and theta is going to equal in 80 degrees. Now another property that is very, very helpful for us to understand, it'd be like our equilateral and isosceles triangle. So for instance, let's pretend that I have an angle right here and this is going to be an isosceles triangle. Okay. Now what about if I had this angle and we call this one 32 degrees and what if I wanted to go ahead and find this angle and let's call this one X, right? Now the important thing about knowing this property is when you have an isosceles triangle, that means these two sides are going to be equal to each other. That also means that these two sides are also going to be equal to each other. So again, now we have a relationship. We know all the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. So now we can use our property of an isosceles triangles as well as the properties of interior angles of a triangle to now write an equation 2x plus 32 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So now you can just go ahead and subtract a 32 degrees and you get 2x is going to equal, let's see, that's going to be 148. So 148 then divide by two, divide by two, x is gonna equal a 74 degrees. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, and if you liked it, then you're absolutely gonna love the next video I have for you here.